Well, 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 what do you know? So, we have got our first Fortnite Season 7 teaser. Chapter 2, of course. But yeah, so before I'm going to show you that, uh, I just wanted to, um, you know, let you know, subscribe, like, leave a comment for more of these vids. And yeah, this is Kitsune Fortnite, and let's get into it. So I will, of course, also be doing my Fortnite comic review, but I thought, why not do two videos in one? So first, I will be telling you the, te the like first ever kind of actual like teaser for season seven, probably, and then I'll kind of just get into my comic review. So first, let's look at this loading screen. So let's see if I can find it. Um, there we go. All right, so let's take a look into it. So right now we have the Cuddle Team leader. Okay, we have like the Cuddle Team leader in a futuristic like alien-like suit. If you saw my last video, you'll know. That there's a very good chance of Fortnite Season 7 being an alien invasion theme. This kind of actually confirms it. So, or kind of. Well, I'll explain. Before I can explain what I think of this, I'll just tell you the teaser though. So, obviously, we have the Cuddle Team Leader there. In like the futuristic suit. We kind of see she has like a pickaxe and like these wings as like a backling. Pretty cool. Um, then if you look to the right, it's a bit covered by the sniper rifles are effective at long range kind of tip, but like there is someone riding like a purpley dark hover bike. It's a bit hard to see them. Maybe I can show you a better view of them later, but yeah. You can see to the left of her, there are a few things. So one, we have those hover bikes, like a lot more close up. These will most likely be a vehicle next season, which I'm very excited about because I mean, these look really cool. We have like this plant looking guy. He kind of looks a bit like an alien, like I said. Pretty cool. We also see this like wind ninja looking kind of guy he's, who's like holding a futuristic gun. He's on like this bluish wind motorbike. And then up there we can kind of see like a pink motorbike with like drift looking energy and someone on top of that. We can't really see them too well either, but yeah. And you can kind of see in the background, there's an explosion, obviously. And then we also have a futuristic city of some sort. Kind of looking like Neo Tilted, but even more impressive. And yeah, so a lot of people think this will be the teaser for Season 7. And I kind of think this too. I mean, why add all this extra stuff if it's just a crew pack? Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, but the Cuddle Team Leader skin there in there, it could be a Battle Pass skin. But it's most likely next season or this next crew pack skin and what which would fit because every crew pack follows a season so like this crew pack fits with like the season 8 theme and um like this crew pack kind of fits with season 9 with like the futuristic stuff but yeah so a lot of people think next season will be futuristic theme i actually still think it'll be alien invasion but here's my idea so before i can fully get into that i want to show you also the news tab for it so let's see if we can find it there we go now we can see a little bit better it's kind of like a ship there there's a purple guy on like the bottom right now let's read what it says so a ferocious battle for a ticket home and burned into it with a precious secret all right so that's a bit interesting so here's my theory i think this is the future right now this is the future in fortnite like future timeline and what happened is, if you remember, in the first loading screen with Cuddle Team Leader, she was rifted there. So I bet you she was rifted into the future. She built a suit, and she's meeting all these friends, or enemies, I think. I think they're friends. They look to be friends. Anyway, I think right now, so there's aliens that have invaded. I think they're going to try to go back in time to take control of the Zero Point and take over the island. And so before that could happen, Cuddle Team Leader wants to get home and warn everyone. And this would be the June Crew Pack skin. And also, um, Season 7 starts early June. So, you know, very likely, like, she's gonna come a little bit early just to warn everyone that aliens are coming, we have to prepare. And when they do come, like, the whole map is gonna go, like, futuristic, like that city... Which I really hope. Neo Tilted and like season nine was like my favorite like season and location, and an even more advanced version would just be awesome. You know, like Vendetto is my favorite tier one hundred. I hope you see more skins like them. Maybe even a female Vendetta that'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, 
So, I think that's what's happening here. I think Cuddle Team Leader and her friends or enemies are in the future, and they're going to try to warn us by going back in time and saying, like, the aliens are coming. And then in Season 7, Io will take over the island, kind of put their military up, and defend against the aliens. So it's kind of two evil teams fighting kind of for, like, the zero point. And we gotta pick sides, kind of like um, Ghost vs. Shadow, except Ghost is getting good. Like, pick alien side, the resistance side, IO side, that kind of thing. And yeah, I think that's what next season will be. So I'm not gonna explain full on like why I think next season will be Alien Invasion, but if you want to check that out, um, there's a video right before this one explaining why I think this, plus this evidence, of course. And yeah, so. You know it's definitely not going to be medieval because, well, we've already had medieval, but yeah. Alright, now with that out of the way, I'm going to do my um, crew pack, or not crew pack, I'm sorry, uh, my comic review. So, here it is. So, this comic, or the third issue of the Batman Zero Point comic, is about Batman versus Snake Eyes. And it's pretty interesting. So, what's interesting about this um, is after, of course, this skin came out, the Zero Catwoman... And after this, you could also get the Catwoman Grappling Claw. And that's pretty cool. But what's really interesting is this actually doesn't take Batman's perspective like the other two comics. This actually comes from another person's perspective. And this actually comes from IO's perspective. So we don't know who this is that's writing these emails. My guess is Dr. Sloan. But there's someone in this group from Loop Observation, which I'm sure is a division of IO or... Um, what's it called? Like, I think it's, um, office or something. I, I don't work, so, uh, you know, department, that's what. So I think this is a department of IO. And, um, I think what they're, like, they're, like, kind of just, like, planning for Batman and stuff. So they say, like, Batman's escaping the loop faster than they want him to. And so they put him up against Snake Eyes and have them fight a lot, and they soon find out respect is an emotion. Batman and Snake Eyes eventually team up using um, sign language and allowing Batman to escape the loop. So let me explain kind of just a quick summary of what happens. So Io finds that Batman is escaping very quickly, and they want to erase his memory, but they can't do that, so they have acquisitions, which I think is another department, um, send in Snake Eyes to fight him. Um, soon, they learn to communicate, causing some trouble for Io. Of course, also the characters stop fighting, which is interesting. And on one of the pages, you can actually see an outline of Seamus. So, you know, maybe a possible Seamus skin. Anyway, after a while, um, they eventually learn sign language, sorry, sign language and team up. And yeah, so... After they team up, Snake Eyes goes into the storm, allowing Batman to escape the loop. And once he's escaped, he's aware of Deathstroke holding Catwoman as a hostage. And so yeah, that leads into next comic. So next comic is going to be very interesting. With the introduction of Dex with with, pff, with the introduction of Deathstroke. And um, you know, Batman being able to free himself from the loop. And yeah, yeah. Sorry, my tongue's getting twisted. I'm just kind of tired today. But anyway, cool. So, if you didn't know, that stroke is actually my favorite DC villain. Both him and Black Manta are. So, it'll be cool to have both my favorite DC villains in the game. But uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's both my comic review and season 7 teaser look. And yeah, if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. This is Kitsune Fortnite.